Hello. Hi, I think you're waiting for me. I just heard you guys. Ah, ah Rock, how Rock. are you doing? See, I can fill up your time now. <laughs> Thank you, because I was floundering as our as our game show current uh, turnbuckle the turnbuckle champion, and I was just getting a lot of a lot of hate, and my feelings are fragile. So I'm I'm glad you're here to bail us out. <laughs> how you guys doing? Um, we're doing good. Right. We're glad to hear you. All right. Uh, so for for those just joining us, we've got with us former TNA knockout Roxy Laveau. Are um are you still going by that name, or are you now Nikki Rocks, or exactly what are people calling you right now? I'm going with whatever people remember. <laughs> as long as they remember to call me something other than a bad name, I'm good with answering to it. Well, based off your uh, your Twitter, it seems like a lot of people have been calling you Sir lately. Is that something that's been a problem? Yeah, ever since I got my head shaved, I've been called Sir. It's really amazing. I, uh, I It usually happens in the airport, but the other day it was right at the counter when I was ordering some food. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's always my favorite. My favorite is just laughing at them after they realize I'm not a dude. <laughs> so, so you know, was that was that part of the storyline? You know, you just you know somebody approached you about giving your head shave. Were you going to do it anyway? You know, what? Yeah, you you do you still have the head shave? What's that all about? Um, I was asked. It was it was TNA's idea. Um, they came to me and asked me if I wanted to do it. And I figured it would kind of uh, help legitimize the knockouts a little bit and show that we can hang with the guys and also make me stand out a little bit different instead of being the whole kind of uh, diva with the long hair, high maintenance kind of chick. It's kind of right. just be more like one of the guys. But um, right now it's not shaved anymore. It's actually starting to grow out. But it won't be very long for sure because I really can't deal with doing it. <laughs> well, so after you uh, after you did that and you agreed to make that sacrifice, a lot of us as fans were kind of disappointed to see, not see you get rewarded more. Kind of, what were your thoughts on uh, on the months after that and how the company was using you? Um. Well, I was just uh, I was never really told exactly what direction they planned on going after that. Um, it was kind of like for me a shot in the dark and let's see where it goes. Um. I had expected um, something to happen, but when uh, I would get to TV, when that was usually when I would find out what I was doing, I'd just kind of go with the flow because you do what your boss tells you. <laughs> you got to make sure you keep them happy so you don't lose your job. Right. What exactly, I mean, obviously you're not in the creative, but what exactly happened with the knockouts? I mean, y'all were, you know, outshining the guys. Um, on, on impact and then Gail Kim jumped ship and then it just fell apart after as if they didn't care anymore. I mean, w what are your thoughts on, on you know, there's rumors of y'all, you know, having your own show, which is probably just rumors, I guess, on Saturday. You know, y'all went from there, you know, that kind of rumors to, to it just completely falling off, off, the, off the board. Um. I think creative kind of has their hands full. I think that has a lot to do with it because there's so many people on the roster and they're trying to get as many people on TV that they can, that they can't um, just on one thing. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, there's there's a couple people that are in creative, but at the same time, like I, I think it's really hard to just focus on one specific division. It, it would kind of be like the X division, like. I think that a lot of the same stuff happened with them, that they're just trying to keep everybody in the mix. Right. Now, uh, you had, you know, before you you were uh, released or whatever the exact thing that happened with you, you had the hardcore gimmick going on. Now, what are your thoughts on the what TNA did, you know, where women were actually, they have their women doing these matches where most people would think only the guys would take part in. You know, where you guys, you ladies are doing ladder matches and, you know, stretcher matches and everything. What are your thoughts <laughs> on that? Um, I'm not completely against it. I just think it's um, more for certain people that 
are willing to do it instead of just kind of being put in the match, you know what I mean? Um, I think it's kind of good to be, for me, I, I, when I came up in wrestling, when I first started training, and I still train now, I train with mostly guys, like normally I'm the only girl that's in the training class, so for me to be taken as one of the guys and be able to show I can hang, like, I think that's pretty cool, but I, some people, that's just not what they want to do, like, they just want to they just want to wrestle. They don't want to be put in matches like that. So I think that it's kind of a 50-50 thing. Like, I'm kind of for it, but I don't. I wouldn't expect everybody to be the same mentality as I am. Right. All right. We've got a caller on the line. you mind taking calls? Oh, no, that's great. Go ahead. All right. Hello, you're on Hit the Ropes. Hi, Roxy? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, nothing much. I've been wondering, like, what kind of TV shows have you been on like, for wrestling that haven't been, like, televised? Um, like, independent shows? Yeah. Um, I do, uh, I do a couple different ones, whatever anybody wants to kind of bring me in for. Um, recently I've done some Jersey All Pro. I've done, um, a couple of conventions, The Legends <laughs> of the Ring. I do stuff for, uh, Don Marie's company, The Wrestler's Rescue, and this weekend I'll be at, uh, WSU in Jersey, so it's kind of all over the place, like, you, it's hard to just be in one place, but um, if you check, like, my MySpace or my my website, I have a schedule up all the time where you, you can see if I'm local or not. Okay, that's cool. Has everything been going on with Shimmer, do you think? Um, I've been working with Shimmer since they first started taping, so I never I never actually stopped wrestling there, so I, I'm usually a part of their roster. That's cool. And the other thing is, like, God, when you got released, you didn't have any experience going to WE because you just wanted to be wrestling, not to look pretty, right? Um, I wouldn't mind going to WWE because um, they have wrestlers that are there. They have Natalia, they have Gail Kim, they have Beth Phoenix, Mickey James. A bunch of those girls are really great, and I wouldn't mind mixing it up with them. Um, just right now, I'm kind of more focusing on kind of regrouping and having fun first. And then maybe see what's going on. And you said have they one. contacted you? Hey, I'm sorry. Have they contacted you yet? Uh, no. WWE have, have the WWE contacted you? No, no. Right now, um, right now it's just mostly I'm doing a lot of independent shows, which is actually like a lot of fun for me. I don't, I don't mind it at all. I see lots of old friends because I usually kept in contact with everybody, anyways. And just having fun again is great. All right. right. Caller, do you have any? Uh, we have one more question, or is that it? Oh yeah. Uh, what do you think is the most best match that you've ever had over these careers out of all the companies that you have been in? Mhm. Mm what is the <coughs> the most hardcore yeah. match I've had? Yeah. Um. Hmm. That one's a tough one. Um. There was actually a promotion that I worked for called New England Championship Wrestling up here in the Northeast, and I uh, I wrestled a match against Ariel, the girl that's on the end. She works for Shimmer also. Um, you can actually catch that video. You can buy the DVD right from New England Championship Wrestling where she uh, she forked me in the head. <laughs> so that was probably my most hardcore match that I've had. Oh. Is there any chance you would ever want to make a collection of all your favorite matches for a three-disc DVD set or something, you think, to sell on your Yeah, market? Yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing that. I'm just looking for, um, I'm going to kind of ask around to see if I have any, I know anybody that can do some DVDs for me. Yeah, that's kind of good. Okay, well, thanks, Foxy. You will always be uh, my hello. Oh, thank you. Thanks for calling in. Yes, you're welcome. All right, okay, thank bye. you, caller. All right, for All anybody right. that uh, wants more? to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Shane. I was, you know, that's the Abdul the Butcher kind of stuff there going on there with the force to the forehead. <laughs> yeah, it was the force to the forehead. Be... Man, I mean, did did you not, I, I mean, I know you're you're in the ring, you're hardcore, but did you not just say, hold on, hold on, let's, let's, let's think about this thing here. I mean, a force yeah, to the I don't... forehead. I didn't actually have a chance. Didn't have a chance. It's, but but I got her back. I like dove off. I dove off the bar on her. So. <laughs>